everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video of, well, a lot of stuff from Privateer Press. So, not too long ago, Privateer Press did this mystery box, and I don't mean mini crate. I'm not talking about this, their monthly subscription. I mean, they wanted to get a bunch of stuff out of one of their warehouses or more or something like that, and started basically mass discount selling random items sorted by faction to players. So I bought five of them because that's where they promise that you won't get duplicate factions if you do this. To my knowledge, these boxes contents or the set of contents per faction is not actually random. It was the same for everybody, but I could be wrong. And uh, honestly, I've got it here in big brown boxes. There's another box bigger than this one, but I'm starting with this one. Now, I won't be taking the time in this video to unbox every individual thing. In fact, I don't really like doing unboxing videos for just miniatures because it's here's the miniature. Like, I will with the mini crates and stuff because, hey, that's more of a surprise as to the image on the box is what's in the box, just in pieces. Now, if people would like to see some unboxing videos of that, because a lot of this stuff will probably remain boxed up for a while, go ahead and comment on that later. Also, if you have requests of things you would like to see painted, comment on that as well later. But let's get to this. Now, I started with just these boxes because I didn't know whether or not these would have boxes with other stuff in them or, as it appears to be, a box of stuff. So, right now I can see right off the bat. Nenoth and Scorn. One army that I was into a bit, and another army that I was really looking to get into. Um, so the promise was, the only thing determined was we were getting one huge base model and the current, so the Mark III starter box. So to begin with, we've got the Guardian, uh, or, uh, oh, okay, the Guardian Indicator Heavy Jack Menoth Kit. I didn't realize that was a dual kit. Cool. Ooh, it comes with more than that, too. Um, more than just figures. Then we've got a Scorn Cyclops Savage. This is one of their light war beasts. Their war beasts are, an are well, war beasts are animals. Theirs are usually things that they've enslaved. Because that's what they do. Like, even in the role-playing book, they don't actually have a coin system. They just have a slave value for everything. Then we've got a Cyclops Raider. Um, then back to some more Menoth stuff. Exemplar and Cinerators. I knew that they had a funny name. These guys, I think, appeared in Mark II. Most of these did, actually. Um, then we've got a Scorn Cyclops Brute, another light war beast. Cool. So this is a lot of stuff to get into any faction. Unfortunately, this deal is already over, so I apologize if you're like, how can I get this? Although I imagine there's a lot of stuff on eBay now because of this. Uh, I got some Scorn-specific templates. Eee, those are always nice. I think that will make my second set of them. Uh, Menoth token set, just generic tokens, so focus, things for um, various spell counters and stuff like that. One more small box in here. Then we've got the, the Titan Heavy War Beast kit, which is the Cannoneer, Gladiator, and Sentry. Thankfully, I magnetize stuff now. In fact, this game is the reason I started magnetizing stuff. Um, so <laughs> I can just, that one box is all three models, only one usable at a time, but whatever. And then we've got their bigger boxes, and an ant. Seriously, there was an ant in the box. Oh well, I was sitting outside for however long. Uh, we've got the Scorn's Battle Group, which is their starter box, which includes Beastmaster Zenex Car, a Cyclops Savage, a Cyclops Raider, and a Titan Gladiator. As well as everything that you need to play. Um, then we've got the Menoth starter kit, which is Malchus the Burning Truth as the Warcaster, a Castigator, which is a heavy jack that's basically got fire fists, a Repenter, Flamethrower, 
and a Ravenger. Cool. Then we have the first of the huge bases. The Menoth Colossal Jack Dual Kit Box. They didn't send the old ones, which were just one of these, but the cheaper dual kit, which with proper magnetization means you have both. Again, only one usable at a time. And then something I actually already have from Scorn. It is literally the only Scorn model I had before this because it's gorgeous. The Hydra. This thing is beautiful. I wanted one regardless, just like I wanted the Archangel, as I line my finger up. Ha <laughs> ha! Even though I do play Legion of Everblight, I wanted one anyway, because at the time it was one of the worst colossal slash gargantuans in the game and remained such to my knowledge for, the, for a long time. So that's one box. Now we have this box. Now, to my knowledge, I already know what factions these are. Uh, if I'm correct, it would be Signar, Crix, and Retribution were the five factions. But my friend who is into War Machine, or keeps track of War Machine a lot more than I do, um, was saying something about adding Kator to it and one other faction. That might have been Menoth, and I'm just forgetting what the original... Oh, yes, yeah, Circle was supposed to be one of the original five. So it was Circle, Scorn, and Retribution, Cricks, and... I already don't remember, but I've already said. Not the point. I'm actually really hoping that Kator and Cricks aren't in here, because they are two of the armies that I own a lot of. And while I wouldn't complain about more of it, it'd be nice to just have armies that I don't have a lot of. Let's find out. Oh, I can see right off the bat, we've got some Cricks and some Signar. There should be a fifth faction in here somewhere. So, first we've got some chicken jacks, aka, or what's really known as bone jacks, or rip saws. This will now make my third and fourth rip saw. These things are scary, honestly. Played right. At the right moment, they just kind of kill really big things. Then we've got a Signar light jack of a sentinel, shield and gatling gun. Then we move on to the store clad and reliant kits. Woo! Then one that confuses me a corruptor, a reaper, and a malice. They must have split the slayer out of this. It's a Crix Heavy Jack kit. Um, I actually am okay with getting the Crix Starter Box because I'll be taking the two models from that to actually finally make my Malice. Uh, something I was planning to do for a long time with the two-player Starter Box for Mark III, but never got around to it because I would have appreciated all the Signar stuff and pretty much everything out of the Crix Box too, which would have been a third unit of Bane Warriors. Still miss the fact that they're called Bane, not called Bane Warriors. Then we've got a, another Heavy Jack kit from Signar, the Cyclone, the Defender, and the Ironclad. These are the more offensive Heavy Jacks to my knowledge amongst Signar. Uh, then we've got the Signar Starter Box. Woo! Which includes Major Beth Maddox. Uh, she's wielding what looks like a great sword. Uh, and a Lancer and an Ironclad, which were in the original starter box, and a Firefly, which is an Electro Lance kind of thing. See? Stuff. Uh, and I can see what the third faction is. It is, or last faction, it is Retribution. Uh, then we've got the, ooh, oh no, okay. The Hurricane Stormwall Colossal Box, which comes with lightning pods for the Stormwall. Again, dual kit. Love that these, they did these dual kits. So much more better on the customer. Then, as much as I've been playing Crix since month one of this game launching, I've never had any of the Colossals. I do now! Which is the Sepulchre and Kraken. 
I wasn't really a fan of the original design of these, um, especially the Kraken with the giant unicorn horn lance gun thing, but they've gotten better since Mar uh, since Mark II, um, or the one that was out in Mark II has, uh, and the Sepulchre really plays, in uh, plays strengths into the recursion mechanics as well. Alright, then we've got, I'm gonna try to finish up with those two factions before moving on to the last one. The starter box for Crix. I already have this one, but again, I plan to butcher the models for a conversion. Um, which include a Death Ripper, which is a Light Jack, they're Bone Jacks, a Reaper, and a Slayer, the original two standard Heavy Jacks, along with Bane Winch Agatha, I believe is her name. Fun stuff! Uh, ooh, goody! More Crix tokens! These were the only ones I had previously. I'm happy to have more! I just have the pewter soul tokens. They're really nice. Let's see here. And then we have... Oh, okay, so yes, they did split it. In fact, here's the other box of Eberus and a Slayer. Eberus being the character-specific one. I think I already had a model set aside for that. Um, which may have been the Slayer out of the first Battle Group box that I got. Because I have a crap ton of Slayers already. Uh, and then we've got Signar Tokens! Woo! With their shield-like shapes and everything, and the yellow swan, I think it is? I think it's supposed to be a swan. I can never remember. Uh, and then, like I said, I've got Retribution in here. Starting with a heavy jack kit with the Banshee, Demon, and Sphinx. I think the Sphinx is a character specific one. Then on to a unit. Yeah, I thought there were supposed to be storm blades in there, but oh well, again, not necessarily all very specific. But it is a unit of Rissavon Defenders. Are these what I think they are? Yes, these are Nis. These are un unblighted Nis. Uh, ice Elves. Because Retribution or the Iosians, they're the elves of this setting. Like, it's very clear. They're elves. I think they even get referred to elves once in a while. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, then we've got their token set. This is actually a faction I've been trying to get into, but never really was able to get into it because there was always... Here's a thing that's just, like, units you want. Oh, they're sold out. Next up, we've got uh, the Battle Group again, aka the Starter Box. Now, all the Starter Boxes have casters or warlocks that are, I believe, unique to that box, but they're not the same caster from the Mark 1 slash 2 boxes, even if they have all the same jacks or warbies, which I don't think they do. This one has... The Griffin, the Chimera, and the Mana Core. This one might actually have all the same ones, because I actually have the first box of these guys. It's pretty much all I have of the faction, and maybe like a spare war caster. And then lastly, we've got the, the dual kit for their Colossal, being the Helios and Hyperion. The way the dual kits work as replaceables is the fact that they use primarily the same body, I think out of all the factions, only one of them is not easily replaceable, and that might be the Kator one. And that's actually one of the Colossals I own the original of, so whatever. If it's not replaceable, I'll just make the new one. But, that's everything. That was a lot of stuff. Um, yeah. Part of me can't wait to get to work for, on any on all of this, but also I have so many other things to do, even within this game. Oh, all the unpainted models. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Regardless, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, feel free to share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to comment in general, such as you want me to unbox specific things or go over my ideas in this game and setting or paint specific things from this, feel free to comment about it. 
And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my painting videos, or my overview videos, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.